family battle today. I've prepared for you 7 interesting reasons why you should consider one of these Doxa Synchron Beasts and please do not forget to subscribe because I'm pretty sure you'll love this one. I'm Andre and welcome to Brave Meters. Point number one says that the actual 300T was created while Doxa was under Synchron ownership. Yes, the glorious diving past of Doxa was between 1968 and 1978. In this period, the brand launched famous divers like the 300T, the Tigraf or the Conquistador Diver. So if you'll see unfamiliar logos or the brand like Synchron, you'll have to know that Synchron by the way bought Doxa in the late 1960s, making co-branded pieces until the company was sold in 1978. I'm not sure how they decided back then to brand the Doxas with the logo or with the label by Synchron, but currently there are lots of vintage iterations on social media with either the Synchron logo or with the label Doxa and underneath with a sub-label by Synchron, either on the dials, the back cases or on the famous beads of rice bracelet clasps. Number 2. Jacques Cousteau was a direct promoter for Doxa, making the brand popular in the States and later on across the world. And as you know, Jacques Cousteau dedicated his life to discover the depths of the ocean. During the famous Calypso and Comex missions, he wore tons of brands from Rolex, Omega and ZRC until Doxa. And yes, he chose to represent Doxa in the USA, promoting the brand becoming a known trustworthy tool for divers. Now the 300T was launched in 1967, being an improved model to the first sub-300. The 300T model was created with the input of Jacques Cousteau himself and represented the ultimate tool watch of the era. And the T letter from the name signified the presence of tritium on the dial. Number 3. These watches are actually, with the exception of the dial, twin brothers. Yup, the Synchron Army, the rare military watch developed in the 70s, is and was based on the 300T platform. What is interesting, even though they basically serve the same purpose, the military sub has a different bezel profile than the one from the 300T. The military has a countdown bezel, especially made by military specifications, alongside the loomed numerals. And the bezel insert should remind you about the military Seamaster 300 with a big triangle at 12 o'clock. The hands are very interesting, we have an immersive pencil shape minute hand, a squared hour hand and a triangle serving as the second hand. Pretty clever. Back then the bezel being acrylic, the actual model having a sapphire insert. Where the Sub 300T has an immersive metallic bezel featuring a classy loom pip, also a decompression marker to calculate how much time you should decompress based on the time spent and depth underwater. And dial-wise, again the Synchron Military was created to ensure maximum legibility on the field and in low lights conditions. We have the creamy dial that has the loomed indexes mirrored in a negative tone, succeeding to create a secondary dial if the loom doesn't help. Also an orange accent for the hands. Based on these interesting principles, the Sub 300T was tailored as well, but way less over-engineered. We have a bright clean dial to contrast with the black hands in the Aquamarine case. And number 4 says that the Synchron Army, later on baptized as Synchron Military, was indeed a tailored military watch made in only 100 pieces. Released in the 1970s, it is a fact that Doxa equipped the Swiss Army with the Sub 300Ts, featuring orange dials. But there is no certain proof that the Synchron Army was on the wrists of them, because of the original survivors had no military specific serial numbers. And very interesting, the initial collection released in 2021 was advertised and quickly sold out as a stainless steel version, the black ones disappearing later. But in reality, the original diver was made in stealth tones. Yes, the Synchron Army survivors, the watches that exist today among the collectors, were originally coated in all black. But because of the lack of technology, the black coating wasn't that advanced back then and with the passing of years, the black paint peeled off. Moving to point number 5, well if the cases are identical, the movements and the technologies are pretty much the same, even their history is shared, why is the Doxa Sub 300T almost twice the price? Well as general specs both the Sub and the military have similar specifications, a tonneau case of 42mm in diameter with a lug to lug distance of 45mm and a height of 14mm, with a lug width of 20mm and both have unidirectional bezels, 
the sub having a solid metallic bezel where the military has a sapphire insert with plumed numerals. Inside on both models is beating a reliable ETA 2A24 movement, a Swiss based movement with a day complication and a power reserve of 38 hours. However, complexity wise, I see the military version more engineered, the dial and the bezel are more complex. Again, a contradiction of the price. The Doxa Sub 300T is 1890 bucks and the Synchron Military was available at 1000 bucks. More than that, the Black Diver comes on a black isoframe strap and as an extra, they provided a Tropic strap. If you're not aware, Synchron belongs to the same owner, Rick Murray, who already owns Aquadive and the full rights on the iconic isoframe strap, also the Tropic strap. So everything else you will see provided today with other wristwatches are isoframe and Tropic replica strap. And I'll get back to this subject soon, we have a fully dedicated strap episode coming up. Number 6, the Sub 300T has 1200 meters depth rating and not only 300 meters as advertised. This Doxa Sub indeed even though it is labeled as a Doxa Sub 300T, it does not mean it has 300 meters depth rating. In fact the model has 1200 meters depth rating on the setup and this is happening because of a robust tonneau case without a helium escape valve where the more expensive Sub 300 Brother with a box sapphire and a certified movement has only 300 meters war resistance. And purpose-wise, the Doxa Sub 300T is different than the Sub 200 priced at $900 and we can understand where the money went. They share the same movement, the ETA 2A24, however the Sub 200 is more of an elegant diver, with a rich history and you can find the review of this piece on the top right corner where the Sub 300T is 100% made with the purpose to serve as a tool, the design or the appeal being on the second place. And that is a thing that I appreciate a lot. And point number 7. Two icons provided from the same family, the same DNA ones, but today provided by separate companies. In the early 2021, when Synchron under new ownership announced, the tribute to an ultra rare 1970s diver came up on the social media, Doxa replied immediately on Instagram with a picture of a Doxa sub synchron army like but with wrong hands, saying, only the original deserves your trust. And definitely Doxa was bothered here by the fact that one of their rare models slipped from their reissue strategy. So guys, what can I say? I personally think that these Doxas were indeed extremely well researched and developed. Feels like every element and every accent was placed there for solid research and assessed reasons. Not just to match the competitors designs and that is why Doxa is one of my preferred brands. They were always different, unusual, but they were a must that made a difference in the diving world. So these are my initial thoughts on this Doxa Synchron family affair. I will probably make a fully dedicated Synchron Military episode, so stay tuned. And I am really interested to know what do you think about this all black coated military diver. Please let me know in the comments section. And until next time, be brave but stay safe.